Welcome friends, take a look at that game, do you recognize it? I bet you do. The game is like Might and Magic and Wizardy. Oh, I miss them so much and maybe you miss them also. And chances that we will get another Wizardy or Might and Magic game are so low. So I decide to show you some upcoming games that came so close to Might and Magic as it ever possible. I know you already hit that like button, so thank you for that. And of course, subscribe, all of these games will be on my channel. And let us begin. The first game that came so close to Might and Magic by spirit, by visual, by combat, by everything will be a quest that became legend. That game is a very promising one and I know the developer, he's a nice person and definitely will finish the project, so we will be able to enjoy this game, we will have around 40 dungeons, cave fortress, abandoned temples, a lot of monsters and look at that visual style, it's just amazing. And of course, you will have a turn based combat in best traditions of might and magic and wizardy. For me, it just must have, believe me, I tried and this game is so good. So far, a quest that became legend is in development state, but I will let you know when this game will be close to release. The next game is called The Legendary Journeys and it also very close to Might and Magic. We will play with a party of adventurers from post look perspective and there will be throne based combats, very interesting story. A lot of quests and different stuff like alchemy, character development, finding treasures and secrets and of course a full freedom to explore the world. Developer is also a very dedicated person and I'm sure he will finish this game. Right now Legendary Jonis is available on Steam in early access and yes development is moving really slow. But at some point the game will be completed. Legendary Journeys is a perfect candidate for your wish list. Arch Quest will be a little different. You also will be able to explore the world in immersive first person view with a grid based movement, but the combats will be different, top down view and they will be turn based. Your heroes will have tons of skills such as search, scout, sneak, detect magic or talking skill like diplomacy, deception, meditation skill which you will be able to use on NPC characters. Story also will be very good, we will have to liberate the city block by block and discover mysteries of the ancient city that lies beneath. Developer is also a very nice person and I'm just sure the game will be released. Classical, classical CRPG, definitely worth waiting. The next is Archeland and you will be able to explore a vast open world and crawl through many dungeons with a first person view but fight in tactical turn based combats at a top down perspective. And oh my god it looks so good, so promising. I was not able to contact developer and see everything with my own eyes, but what this game promise? It promises us a vast open world full of secrets, encounters and freedom of choices strong based combat and deep and engaging character progression, it's career based. That's definitely something new, your character will start as street rufflers, squires, hunters or even beggars, but later you can move into new career and become knights, lore seeker, assassins or even battle mages. Game world will be very big and yet everywhere you go you will need people to talk to, unique quests to complete, mysteries to solve and of course battles to be won and treasures to loot. 
Game looks very good, very promising and definitely it's a good candidate for wishlisting. Eladorn is a mystery game, we know so little about it. What do we know? Exploration will be from first person view. Game will be a combination of puzzle, branch dialogue options, tactical turn based combat, quest solving and intriguing and complex RPG system. Party creation will be very good, with unique races and class selection and very complex system of attributes, perks and skills. But everything else is a complete mystery. Well, let's just hope the game will not disappoint us on release. The Fellowship Saga, the game that looked so good, was so promising, but something happened, developer disappeared and now even the Steam removed it from its store. Probably it's a dead project, but who knows, maybe one day it will be reborn. So friends, I really hope you enjoy my upcoming Might and Magic like games. And please tell me which of these games do you find most interesting. And of course, don't forget to like this video and subscribe and I will see you in my next video.